Did you know that fear is the number one enemy to transform your life? It paralyzes you in such a way that it doesn't allow you to achieve your dreams. Today, you will learn four easy steps that will help you defeat fear. Hello, my loves, I'm Diana, and you're watching Transform Your Life, and welcome to episode number six of the series from the book, The Virtuous Woman of Today. On the last episode, you learned practical steps to help you stay motivated to achieve your dreams and transform your life. In case you missed the video, I'm gonna leave the link in the description below. In today's episode, you're gonna learn practical steps to defeat fear and achieve everything you set your mind to. This episode is based on chapter number four from the book. I want to start by sharing with you one of my favorite verses from the Bible, and it is Joshua 1.9. It says, Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous, do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. This Bible verse really encouraged me and motivates me to keep pressing no matter the circumstances. And this promise is also for you. God wants to be with you wherever you go and he's gonna be helping you in whatever it is that he's asking you to do. One of the stories from the Bible that relates to defeating fear is the story of David and Goliath. If you guys remember, David was just a kid and he had to confront a giant. And you guys remember how he was able to defeat that giant? he was able to defeat him with just a rock. And more than defeating him just with a rock, David knew that God was by his side and that he was helping him through the entire process. So David was able to confront that giant because he knew God was gonna be able to help him through the entire process. And God wants to do exactly the same thing with you. He wants to help you defeat all the Goliaths in your life. I want to share with you the definition of the word fear. The dictionary says, a distressing body sensation that makes you alert as you think something imaginary is about to pass. When I read the definition of fear from the dictionary, I realized that it was something that is just in my head, something imaginary. So if you are facing fear at this precise moment in your life, today you're gonna learn four steps that will help you defeat fear. Step number one is to trust God and His promises. It is important that you know, first of all, God's promises for your life, and second, that you trust them, that you believe that He's by your side, that you believe that He has amazing plans for you, and that he wants to help you out. So recognizing that God wants to help you through the entire process and recognizing that he has amazing promises for you will help you defeat fear. Step number two is to not allow fear to take root into your life. It's important that you actually start thinking about positive things, about God's promises for your life instead of focusing on fear and feed those thoughts, those imaginary thoughts that come along with fear. Because the more you think about it, the more you're gonna believe that it's true. So stop thinking about it and stop allowing fear to take root into your life and replace those thoughts with positive thoughts from the Word of God. Step number three is to be careful with what you're allowing into your mind. You have to be careful with what you're listening to every day, with the TV shows that you listen to, or the news, or the friends, or people that surrounds you. You have to be very careful that they're not feeding your fear. You have to be careful that they're not just talking constantly about things that you cannot do. You want to be surrounded by people that believe in you, that believe in what you can do, and that's gonna help you defeat any type of fears that you have. Step number four is to take a small steps of faith, even if you're afraid. The more steps you take, little by little, and the closer you get to that giant, you're gonna realize that that giant is very small and it was something just imaginary in your head. So the more steps you take toward that dream or towards that transformation that you want to achieve in your life, the more you're gonna defeat fear. So the homework for this week, my beautiful friends, is that you actually start taking those smallest steps of faith. Identify an action that you have been procrastinating because you have been afraid and start taking those smallest steps of faith. You're gonna see what the Lord is gonna do for you. Make sure you subscribe because next week we're gonna be talking about how to stay positive to achieve all our dreams and transform our life. And make sure you follow us in all our social media because every day we're posting an inspirational message and stay motivated to continue transforming your life and become everything God has created you to be. I'll see you next week.